Hello Aquarius! Welcome to your October reading for this current year, 2019. Yay! I'm glad to see you've all survived so far. Yes, mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Two seconds, y'all. Okay. So, for any newcomers and for those who are return visitors, Aquarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if this resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just a card game. It might work, it might not work. You just never know. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Actually, right hand, because we don't use the left. Now, if you're new and you want a personal read from me, all the information is in the description box below. Right below the listing of the music, and you can find everything you need there. Right? Right. Now, oh, and I also accept tips and donations. Newcomers, first readings on the house, my treat. Everything else comes with the price, of course. Aquarius, there was a wish that was granted and someone's just smiling their ass off. Being like, yay! Because the situation is called for no communication, or you got to be a dick to somebody. Whichever one just excited and tickled your pickle, man, you're on it. You're just like, yay, I got to curse a bitch out and they won't bother me anymore? Fuck yes, it's the jackpot, right? <laughs> Wants and wishes, though, yeah. Um, mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Aquarius, are you wishing? Are you daydreaming? <coughs> <coughs> oh, Lord. Okay, I think I'm alive. <coughs> Let me grab my water real quick. <coughs> Sorry, I have really ugly coughs, like ugly cries, but worse because it sounds like I'm dying. But anyway. Aquarius, are you kind of wishing to um, hurt somebody quite deliberately? Because I feel like the whole nerves thing, I was on the nose with that shit. I really do, man. Let's see. The obstacle and challenge of this is coming to be getting out of the cold after you've been left out in it for so long. Five of Pentacles. Like, below this person's begging you for shit and it's getting on your nerves. And now you're just up here being like, I will stab you to death. Now you have something to beg for, motherfucker, you know? Fair set of rejections is an offer that's rooted, too good to be true. And what this st stuff starts with, how it begins, how it'll end, how it'll come full cycle. Six of swords reversed. Looking for a love proposal or a reason to stick around. Mm. Beginning theme, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Once again, someone might be fucking annoyed by the greatness of whatever, right? Let us see. I have a, like a literally a colony of fucking stink bugs in my house, and I don't know why. I just kind of appeared yesterday, and it was awkward. I don't know. At least it's not ladybugs. Those things are disgusting and evil. Anyway. Nine of Cups. Five of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like whatever this person in the Five of Pentacles is bitching at you about, it has something to do with this Ace of Pentacles. Like, they want you to come back in from the cold with them. But I think you're trying to ignore them because you got a wish, which is you don't have to talk to this dude. And you're on the verge of possibly wanting to stab this person, right? Oh, that's the wrong deck. Well, first card is you got to make a choice. Make it bold, make it quick, make it enterprising, but make it more or less. Right? Right. So, Aquarius. Let's see. This Nine of Cups situation? Hmm. You might have got your wish, but that involved ignoring everybody. Maybe people came up, told you you didn't have to do something, and you were just like, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway, because I feel like it. It's what I want to do. You know, that's my drive right now. I will control this shit with me and my fucking ram, for fuck's sakes. You know, you might want to put an assault on a 
emperor, some sort of person who's got the authority figure, head of the household, has control of everything, right? Down below is the star reverse. You don't want to communicate. You might even be coming off a little bit arrogant to people in this situation. It's probably because you won't let something die. Oh, why are you guys facing each other? That was creepy. Yeah, it's kind of like you won't let something die between two people, like my skulls. Um, Eddie and Edward and Murphy right here, kind of facing off at each other, just looking at each other like, you fucking go die. You die. I'm already dead. Well, go back to being dead, Daddy. Mr. Daddy Deadhead. You know? I feel like it's uh, inappropriately loud. I want to turn that down real quick. Okay, it's not a suffocating. Sorry about that. You guys might like it. I don't know. I really can't hear what it sounds like through the um, camcorder, unfortunately. So there's something that you that won't die, that you aren't letting die, and that's why you don't want to communicate or talk about it. It just pisses you right the fuck off and turns off your feng shui. And you're kind of fi tired of fighting this shit over and over again. It's not even a guilty conscience. It's like that person who wouldn't go away for the longest time. It's just like, oh my god, will you just fucking die? But you got your wish, man. It was just like you ignored what everybody else said. And you were just like, I'm going to take control of my stuff. I got my goats. I'm happy. Well, it's a ram, but still. He got his pet. He's steady. He's focused on what's coming next. Meanwhile, in the situation, you know, like, there is no communication because something won't die. And I feel like you're tired of fighting it off, Aquarius. One reason or another. It's like you had to ignore motherfuckers in order to get your peace of mind. Five of Swords, you might want to kill somebody or just torture them until they realize you want to be left alone. You might love them, but that does not mean that you want anything to do with them at this point because they're too dramatic or too something. There's just something about them that's just bothering the piss out of you to the point where you just want to annihilate them, cut them down with your sword. And you will make the first move, if necessary, to make that change. You're hoping maybe this will attack or assault on this Ace of Pentacle over here will help you with that as well. In order to send the message, no, we're breaking up. We're never, ever, 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 ever getting back together. Like, how many times do I have to tell you? I've done this shit five times and you still aren't getting it. It's like one of those. It's like, do you understand Spanglish? Or whatever language it is that I speak, depending on where I'm from? Yeah, this kind of pentacles is like demanding, but it's like a demanding of almost wanting to be alone. Like, she could be an overbearing mother, she could be an unfaithful spouse, but it's like... This person has no idea what's going on because they got their back to it. They're too busy with their own fucking bullshit to see what this person's doing, Aquarius. Either they don't know that you're doing this, or they are, or it's somebody else that you're dealing with. One of the two. Obstacle and Challenge Aquarius, the Five of Pentacles Reverse, coming back in from the cold. I feel like this person wants to offer that to you. Like, for real. Uh, I keep getting up because I'm not comfortable with anything. There you go. That was too much. There you go. Okay. I'm like so uncomfortable today and I don't know why. I think it's because I ate something. And now I'm all hot and bothered. All right, Five of Pentacles Reverse. I think they want to come back in from the cold, but they're bothering you about it, Aquarius. Uh, pretty much because they're at the edge of the cliff and they're about to lose their grip. And they want you to hand them an apple, so it's just like, well, I have a flower, but I'm out to fall. You just hand them an apple, but if you hand them that apple, they're going to grab your wrist and possibly bring you down with them. Like, you both feel out in the cold, but you're a little bit more successful than they are. Ace of Pentacle, fear and rejected rejections, right? This person wants you to share your happiness with you. They're tugging on your flag to do that, too. Um, but the truth is still going to fly. When it, like, they want to pull you back and let the truth be free. Just be like, hey, hold up a minute with your happy time. 
But I feel like Aquarius, you don't want the offer. It's like you don't care if they're trying to stop you. You don't need it to fly. Like you have the bird. Like you just don't care if it flies or not, I feel like. How this shit starts and how it will end. I swear, this person could follow you out in the outer space. That's gonna be the title of your video, Aquarius. You went to outer space and they stowed away on your spaceship. That's exactly what the fuck they did. You were trying to go home, little E.T. And somehow they got on with you. This love proposal right here. They wanna stick around! They love you! They wanna embrace! They wanna get a little white kitty cat and shit. But, they need to deal with their own emotional issues first. For real. Like, there's something up here. Alright, ending theme, right? This Queen of Pentacles, who isn't paying attention to how you're acting and how you're dealing with everything in this situation, has nowhere to fucking go. And eventually they're going to come looking for you. But for now, they're just, you know, preoccupied with other shit. Like, they got their back turned to all the serious stuff. But when it really comes down to it, they have nowhere else to go. They just act like they're doing shit. You know, they feel like there's a lot of lack of closure and incompletion that, like, you left without really any sort of emotional attachment to them. When in reality, they think that you should have come up and had tapped their fucking shoulder so they turn around and get your cup. Like they deserved it. When in reality, they've got you to the point where you're considering murder, which I don't think is a good thing, Aquarius. Like, we don't, we, we don't murder here in this little coven of ours, okay? We're not doing that. We do not murder folk because they get on our nerves. You know, if I can't do it, you can't either, so... You're just going to have to find some alternative. But I don't know. It's like you have to walk away from this person. Because either that or it's just they just expect way too much from you. And just from you. Like I said, you went to outer space and they still came and found your ass. So I don't know how you're going to deal with this Aquarius. But that's the read I got for you guys. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Really up to you. No pressure. But I'd greatly appreciate it. And once again, if you want a personal, everything's down in the description box below. You all have a good day. Love your faces, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.